The History of the Recorder The recorder is a whistle-type woodwind instrument that is from an ancient family of instruments called the internal duct flutes. For many centuries, it was the most popular woodwind instrument. It was being used as a folk instrument as early as the 12th century. During the 16th century, several composers were writing solo and ensemble music for the recorder. Two of these were Bach and Handel, probably the best known composers of the Baroque era. The transverse or side blown flute had replaced the recorder by the 18th century because it had a much broader dynamic range than the recorder and could blend better with the larger, louder orchestras of the day. Recorders probably came to America with some of the first settlers. There are as many as 26 recorders listed in the inventories of various plantations in the 1600s. Around 1925, the recorder began to make a comeback in popularity because of a renewed interest in Renaissance and Baroque music. Today, more than 3.5 million plastic recorders are manufactured per year. Recorders are played in many elementary schools and can be a wonderful instrument to learn on its own or as an introductory band instrument. Many skills are learned from the playing of the recorder, such as fingering, embouchure development, that's the shape of your lips when you play, breath support, and articulation skills. That's when you make the t -t -t sound. And it also helps development of the inner ear. The five most common recorders are sopranino or descant, those are really high, soprano, that's the one we play, alto, tenor, and bass. The smallest is the Gark line recorder, which is only four inches long. The largest recorder is called a subcontra bass, and it's about 10 feet long. The soprano is the recorder that is most often played by beginners. All of these recorders can be played together. This group is called a consort. Thank you.